Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 1, The First Age of Darkness, and when last we left off, we generated our hero, Kikoskia the Fighter, who hopefully is going to defeat the Wizard Mundane and save the lands of Cesaria. Unfortunately, he's not going to be doing that with the equipment that he has right now. It may look like he's ready for combat, but he really isn't. He has a dagger, a suit of leather armour, and one gold crown to his name. 100 copper pennies equates to one gold crown. We're going to have to get some better equipment really quickly. The dagger is fine for dealing with the very early enemies of the game, we're not going to be fighting them for very long. And the place to get equipment is a settlement. Fortunately, we can see a castle right over to the left. That is the castle of Lord British, for we are within the realm of Lord British. The lands of Cesaria are separated into four different continents, and we always start here. Right next to the castle is the town, Britain. We're going to be going there as well. But we need to make it over there first, which means moving. And moving on the overworld consumes food at a rate of two actions per unit of food. Note I said actions and not movement. Attacking also counts as an action. Checking your stats also counts as an action. There are lots of things that will consume food on the overworld, but you're only going to consume food on the overworld. You use the arrow keys to move, you cannot move diagonally, and by reaching this castle we have already used five units of food. But by entering with the uh, press of the E key, we're not going to consume any food while we are in here. Say hello to all of the guards that are making sure that we don't go and kill Lord British. There are seven of them, they are very deadly at this point, we're not going to anger anyone by stealing or trying to kill anyone. We are the sprite on the far left, and there are numerous places that we can go and have a look at here. There is an armory full of armour, a weapon stockpile full of weapons, and a food stockpile full of food. We're not going to go into any of them to try and steal anything. They are not shops, they are stockpiles, and if we try to take something, it's going to end badly. There is also a Jester, that is the person in the yellow shirt, there is also Lord British by the throne, and there is a Princess in the prison. We're not going to be dealing with the Princess or the Jester just now. What we're going to do is we're going to talk to Lord British eventually, and Gwino the Jester sings, I've got the key! I think Gwino is referring to the key to the prison. If we wanted to free the Princess, we could kill the Jester. Predictably, that would anger the guards. Even if the Jester is terrible, the Jester is still in the service of the King, and we don't want to anger the guards. We're going to head over to Lord British and have a conversation with him. To be exact, we're actually going to transact with him, the only way that you can talk to people. You press the T button for that. But before we do that, we're going to head over to this pond. Ponds are quite important in this game, dropping money into them gives you the chance of gaining useful things in return. This pond is very important, because this pond has the chance of giving you weapons, provided that you drop enough money into it. By pressing the D key, you access the drop system. You can drop money, weapons, or armour. All of these are irreversible, there is not an item on the floor left for you to pick up afterwards. We're going to drop some pennies. And how we manage to split one gold crown into numerous amounts of a smaller change, I don't know. Maybe the guard next to us will handily exchange it for us. But we're going to drop ten pence into this pond. Shazam! And by the power of magic, we gain a new weapon. What weapon did we get? We got a greatsword. It's not bad. We'll take it. We could drop some more money, though. I'm playing with fire here, but we may get something better. Let's have a look! We now have bows and arrows. That's not particularly good, but we do now have an option for ranged combat. We're going to stick with the greatsword, though, and we're going to have a conversation with Lord British himself. Hello! How are you? Do you have a quest for us? Let us transact and find out. Dost thou offer pence or service? If you offer pence, you will gain health in relation to the amount of money that you give him. It is one of the few ways that you will regain health in this game. 
You can also regain health by dropping money into certain bodies of water, and you'll also regain health by emerging from a dungeon victorious. It is proportional to the amount of experience that you earn within the dungeon. We're going to offer our service. We are at your disposal, my liege. Go forth and find the grave of the lost soul. Do not return until thy quest is done. I don't think we can do that right now. I think the grave of the lost soul is not on this body of land. So we're going to have to uh, venture somewhere else. We've done everything that we can here. Let's just leave. We leave the same way that we came in, by using that door. And let's just hope that the items that I bought are not cheaper in the town, otherwise I've ripped myself off. That pond, by the way, can give you any item in the game. Weapon-wise, that is. Even things that are really powerful. We're going to move over here, and head into the city of Britain. There are various guards. There is also a bard. We want to be very careful of that bard. YOLO the bard sings, Ho yo he hum. Hello YOLO! Are you going to steal things? Yes you are. If we're not careful and we stand next to you, you're going to steal some of our equipment. There are various things that we can do. We're going to go over to the weapon shop here and transact. We could buy various things. The only thing that he sells is a mace and ropes and spikes. We don't want either of them, so we're just going to press a different key. I pressed Q there, and we leave that shop. We want some armor though. We definitely want some armor. Let us transact and see what you have. You have leather armor, chain mail, and plate mail. Unfortunately, we kind of don't have enough money for any of that armor that we don't already have, so we're going to have to not buy anything. There is also transport that you can purchase. There are various things that you can use to get around the world. There currently is a horse, a cart, a raft, and a frigate. Buying these things are quite important, because the frigate allows you to navigate the sea, and so does the raft. The horse would allow us to move faster, which means that you consume less food. We're not actually moving faster, the rate that you eat food lowers. We're not going to buy any of them right now. We'll be fine. There is also magic that you can purchase, and food. There is also the pub. Let us be careful of YOLO there. We know what you're capable of, and we're going to go to the pub, and we're just going to have a drink. Or two. We may hear some rumours if we do. Rumours are the main way that you can discover things about the plot. Let us just, uh, have a drink. We will buy... Pub de Varg. The tavern keeper says, Here, have a cold one. Thank you. And we heard nothing. We will buy one more beer and hope that we hear something that is useful. Here, have a cold one. We didn't hear anything, so we're just going to leave. It's always advisable to have a drink or two before you head back out into the overworld. Going out of town negates the drinks that you've drunk, instantly sobering you up, which is handy because bad things can happen if you drink too much. Let us now head out to the overworld. There are many places that we can go. We're going to avoid the woods for now. What we want to do is we want to find another settlement, and see if we can get a different quest. A better quest, a quest that we can actually do. Maybe we might even find an enemy. Well, there is a place that we can go, but I don't think it's going to be that useful. Let's just uh, go through here, and say hello to the people here. This is the City of Paws. It is exactly the same as the other city that we were just in, but the things that are for sale here might be slightly different. And I'm going to watch out for you, Mr. Bard. I don't want you to uh, steal anything that I have. What I want to do... Are you here again, YOLO? Are you following me? Look, I'm not having you join my party, besides we can't even have people join our party in this game. Kikoskia is dealing with the threat of mundane alone. Do you have different things? The answer is you do. You have a dagger and an axe. We currently don't want any of them. We can't afford any of them either way. What about you? Do you have anything different? 
you might do if time passes. One of the things that does happen is that uh, certain things will be available for sale only after you've made a certain number of actions. We're just going to leave you to it, YOLO. We have no desire to talk to you. Let's just explore and see what we can find. What we need to really find is some enemies to fight. There is a dungeon there. We could go into that dungeon and see what we could find. There is another town there. Always handy to find more towns. But for the moment, we're going to go and seek something to fight. A foe to best, and there is another dungeon. I believe there is a dungeon down here. We have already consumed nearly a quarter of our food. This is not good. Let us go down here and find the sea. We have found no enemies whatsoever. We have found a fair few settlements, but we don't want to go into any of them. Here is a dungeon, and by pressing E, we're going to enter into the Mines of Drash 2, the sequel to the Mines of Drash 1, and we have found our first enemy, the saddest skeleton that we'll ever encounter. This skeleton has just realized who he's up against and really doesn't like it. Oh, it's the stranger. I suppose I'm just going to die now. You may die. The first enemy is by far not the hardest that we're going to encounter. We attack by pressing A. And we manage to get hit for two points of damage. If we had a better weapon, we would deal more damage. Let us attack again. And we have killed the enemy, and we found four copper and one silver. Thou dost find the following, which is good because we need more money. We need to get some better armor. We move around in a dungeon much like you would anywhere else by using uh, the arrow keys. There is another very sad skeleton come to say hello. Enemies will attack you even when you're not facing them, so you do need to be very observant. And food does not go down while you're in a dungeon. Let us strike with our weapon! And we didn't kill the skeleton. Two more points of damage. But we did manage to kill that foe then. And there is a thief that is behind us. We take some damage. The thief missed, and hello, Mr. Thief! You look nothing like a thief. That uh, helmet looks a little peculiar. It's more likely a, it's more than likely a cloak, and that's a hood, but it does look like a weird helmet. We shall attack and kill you, gaining quite a lot of money. We've already recouped all of the money that we spent when we started the game, and we could get more money by finding more enemies. If we keep turning, we won't find anything here, apparently. Or maybe there is something here. We can inform and search by pressing I, but we found nothing. There's nothing here. We're just going to uh, leave and then go back into this corridor and explore more of this dungeon. This dungeon has the same graphical style as the dungeons in Akalabeth. We're going to be exploring dungeons quite a bit. It's a good source of money. We will find stairs that head down. We will also find coffins. We can open coffins by pressing O. And we found eight copper, which is great, because we need a lot more money. I have no idea why a coffin is here, but finding money within them, always a good thing. Let's just keep looking around, and maybe we will find more foes to face. There appears to be nothing in this room, so we'll just leave and head to this door. This door has a ladder that heads down. The dungeons are randomly generated upon character creation, so this dungeon will not be the same for a different character. We'll have to be very careful as we explore. We cannot rely on any uh, maps to uh, show us the way out. What is here? I believe we have found a small corridor. And when we leave here, we want to actually uh, climb up or down the ladder, which we do with the K key for climb. We gained 40 hit points for doing that. We are actually uh, a little bit up on our health. We actually have more health now than when we started, which is good, and we can use the money to buy more things. We'll want to very quickly head back to, uh, aha, there's an enemy there. We actually want to avoid you right now. We are not yet well enough equipped to take care of you. Fortunately, you cannot catch up with us. And so that is an even more dangerous foe. We're 
probably going to avoid you as well. Some enemies have ranged attacks, not these ones, which is handy, because you're going to give chase as much as you like, and we will just outrun you. And you're going to attack us, you're a dragon turtle, this is bad, we really wanted to get to here without dying, we managed to do it. We pretty much negated all of that health gain that we got, however. Slowly but surely, we're going to be just fine, though. Let us buy some food. We shall transact, we shall buy, and packs of ten food cost five pence each. How much dost thou wish to purchase? We want to purchase quite a few packs of food. I would say that we want to purchase about seven packs of food? So we shall purchase seven packs. Which means that we now have 94 coins. Sold indeed! What we want to do is we want to get some better armour. We aren't necessarily in a better situation. We will be once we get the chainmail, though. Slowly but surely, we shall get better equipment. We now have chainmail. Sold indeed, armour shop of Lord Eldric de Charbonneau. We now have better equipment, which we shall ready by putting it on, pressing A, and then pressing C. We could sell the armour that we have, which we will. We will sell the leather armour. We will get practically nothing for it, but it's better than having nothing. There we go, done indeed! We are now slightly better equipped. We could sell the bow. I wonder what selling the bow would give. Probably not a whole lot. Let us, uh, see what happens. Ooh, the bow and arrow we could actually sell for the same amount of money that we uh, threw into the pond, which means that we could gain another shot at getting something out of that pond. Let us actually sell that. Done indeed. We now have 14 coins. 14 whole pennies. We could go to the pub and uh, hear some rumours. Not actually a bad idea. Maybe we'll hear something that will be critically important to our quest. It's not likely. We cannot do the quest that Lord British has uh, given us. Let us just go and transact and have one drink. Let us buy. Here, have a cold one. I don't think we heard any nice rumours. What a shame. We'll just leave and throw some more of our well-earned money into a pond. I don't think any of the enemies... Oh, they're still here! We're going to have to fight you, aren't we? Yes, we are! We shall attack with the greatsword to the left. And we didn't deal that much damage. The dragon turtle hit us for seven damage. And now the dragon turtle is dead. We did gain some money for doing that. It wasn't that bad. We got five copper and two silver. That is a knight. It looks more like a robot. But it is a knight. And we have, uh, dealt, uh, let's see, 22 damage, and we took 2 damage. Not bad. The knight is dead. We gained a lot of money. Do you know what we're going to use that money for? That's right, throwing it into a pond. Because why not? We might get something good. We also probably want to get some more health by, uh, buying more health. You never thought that you could buy health, but you can in this game. We shall drop. Some pence, only ten. Shazam! Give us some better equipment. What did we get? We got a phaser. Welcome to the slightly anachronistic part of the game. We are now equipped with a zappy laser gun, which can attack at range. This will dramatically improve our survivability, because funnily enough, if we can kill the enemies before they even get to us, we are going to be in a good situation indeed. Let us leave. We could head to the town and get some more food. It's not a bad idea, but I think we're okay with 182. There are indeed some very high-tech pieces of equipment in this game, and we cannot avoid getting some of them if we want to complete the game. The phaser is one of the more powerful weapons. There is a more powerful one. There are also futuristic suits of armor, futuristic modes of transport, and there's even a spaceship. We could find out about the spaceships if we got a hint from the pub. As it stands right now, we aren't going to figure anything out, because we aren't getting any hints. Maybe nobody in uh, Britain is being talkative, or maybe YOLO is the only person that has all of the hints and he isn't telling us anything. By the way, YOLO will steal the most powerful weapon that we have, barring the weapon that we have in our possession. He won't take the weapon that is literally in our hands, but if we stand next to him for too long, 
he could steal the great sword, and we don't want him to do that. To avoid that, we're not going to be standing next to him. In fact, we're probably not going to be going to Britain for a little while. We're quite well equipped, considering that we've only just started out. We have a suit of chainmail, we have a decent amount of money, a small amount of XP, and we have a phaser. One of those things doesn't seem to fit, but trust me, it's the least of our concerns that we have such an anachronistic weapon. We're going to be finding more anachronistic things as time goes on. And so, when we come back folks, we need to get more money, more experience, and we need to get more food and more health. We're going to need a lot more health before this game is through. And maybe we could go and explore and find different locations here in the lands of Lord British. Perhaps we'll find another castle, another person that we can get tasks from. We might even get a quest that we can actually complete. But that remains to be seen. And when we come back, folks, we will explore these lands more carefully, armed with a zappy laser gun. Pew pew! Pew pew pew! The stranger has never felt more capable of taking care of threats than when he had a laser gun. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.